Robert Fulton Elementary School in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, recently underwent a multi-million dollar renovation, turning long hallways into bright welcoming centers for art displays, posters, and celebrations of progress. Classrooms where students couldn't move due to overcrowding are now filled with light, smart boards, bright colors, and plenty of room to dance. The real transformation going on inside Fulton isn't just in the building, but rather how students are learning and teachers are applying active learning strategies in their daily instructional plans. Fulton Elementary received a grant from the General Mills Foundation to enhance its ability to provide quality, nutrition education, and physical activity opportunities to its 450 students. This grant enabled Fizika to train all of the Fulton staff in active learning at the beginning of the school year. Before the year began, three teachers from Fulton took the active learning course that Fizika developed in partnership with Harrisburg University. 15 minutes of physical activity, known as halftime, was added to the school day. At any time visiting classrooms, you will see more kids moving in so many different ways. So beyond recess, beyond PE, beyond morning workouts, we're seeing teachers use gestures to reenact stories or um, symbolize vocabulary words or reading strategies. We're seeing our built-in brain breaks used outside of the designated half time so that teachers are employing these active learning strategies on a consistent basis to really support student focus and student understanding understanding of content. Fizika works closely with Fulton's active learning team that meets monthly to monitor and guide implementation. We are so fortunate to partner with Fizika. They have just been a guiding force beside us every step of the way. So we were able to sit down with Martha and map out a really specific plan tailored to the needs of our building. So taking what we know about our district initiatives, our school initiatives, our school improvement plan, we took all of those things into account and Martha really helped us set up uh, an effective rollout with the staff. I think the program overall just really helped to focus us on what we want to do here at Fulton and we worked as a team to create that so it was something that we could use and it meant a lot to us here. Students with learning differences are among those benefiting from active learning. For my students with IEPs we have a lot of lack of focus and we are working really hard to um, be engaged in everything that we do and that physical activity allows their brains to take that little break from what we're doing or to actually include it into their learning and then it helps them to focus and they don't always even know that that's what's happening. So it's just that great um, way to build that in with them and they, I've seen them become a lot more engaged with their learning because of that physical movement and when you can build it into the content and what they're learning, I mean they're making amazing strides in what they do every day. To motivate students to become more active, and mindful about maintaining a healthy lifestyle, Fulton ordered scored wearable accelerometers through Fizika. Fifth grade student Gustavo Allers enjoys participating in healthy competitions with his fellow students and teachers. The squid bracelet um, it involves a lot of competition and people have been wanting to get more active. They've been running around a lot. What are Fulton's plans for next year? I think next year um, definitely our focus will be on the nutrition aspect of active learning, bringing in our health knowledge, health literacy into our school, and also bringing that active learning and directly connecting it with the curriculum that we have. At Fulton Elementary, active learning is key to keeping students engaged and teachers motivated. New training, new resources, new evaluation methods, and new technology are making this inner city school brim with pride.